Hey guys, JLums here, doing a video for Gran Turismo 7. I want to just make a quick, quick video, very, very short, uh, in regards to Gran Turismo 7, and I think there's big things to actually come. Uh, one of the hints are, well, there's plenty of hints at the moment, but one of the hints that I'm seeing here is that uh, they changed the daily races. Uh, so for this week, typically every Monday, they change the daily races. So they put out a little note within the game here. Let's see if there's anything that happens. I'm just loading it up as we speak here. Um, where they uh, extended the time till this Friday, I believe. Let me just confirm this. So weekly change challenges update. Here we go. So it says weekly cha challenges update notice. Please note the next set of weekly cha challenges will be released on Friday the 8th, which will be... Oh, geez, that's not even next week. That's a while from now. I thought that was a week. That's two weeks. So we're having two weeks of the same races here. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, thank you for patience and please continue to enjoy Grand Turismo 7. Now, the other thing that um, ties in with this a little bit is that uh, there's been a lot of reports from other uh, YouTubers stating that there's going to be a big update coming up right away here. So I think something big is happening. And I just wanted to bring that to light just in case you guys weren't paying attention or haven't seen anything on it. Um, okay, no, so they have done the daily races, the weekly challenges that have changed. So this week we got uh, Watkins Glen with a specified car. Which car is it? It's a Marriott Maserati. Grand Valley Short Reverse. Okay, so I owned, I owned hard the actual full course in reverse. So doing the, the short, that's kind of interesting for me. Um, so that means I'll probably be good at it, I hope. And it looks like it's going to be GR4. So my, I mean, uh, uh, group four probably gonna be the Mazda uh, and then one of the one of the classics uh, we got Mount Panorama here um, with GT3 cars and it looks like you can go with uh, racing softs and mediums uh, partial big balance so partially allowed for settings as well that's great um, DR affected yes yes no pit stops none okay so you don't need any pit stops that's great uh, but you need to change from medium to soft at one at least once. So that's an, gonna be an interesting race. Actually, I forgot to see how many laps that is. That is 10 laps. So that's great to see. This one will be uh, race B will be reverse Grand Valley with six laps, racing hards. And you also got uh, partially allowed uh, car settings, which is awesome. Um, if you guys haven't been doing that, you should look into that because you can t definitely fine tune the car to your style of uh, driving once you can figure out which settings works best for you. So anyways, just want to do a quick video on that. It looks like big things are coming. I'm super excited because it looks like things are changing. Um, there's going to be, there's been a leak, I guess, for three new cars and hopefully people think there might be a new track coming, which would be super sick. Uh, one of the big YouTubers, I forgot which one, mentioned that maybe there's going to be a city course. That'd be flipping sick because we don't have one yet. So it'd be nice to have a city course. So anyways, I want to just put this out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.